it. Okay, so if you're joining us on video, I'm sorry I got started a little and just started it. So I have some stuff already written down. So do me a favor, write down what we you see here, pause the video and uh, copy this down and then restart it once you've written everything and continue. Okay. All right. So we're only gonna do a few examples. Um, and if you're watching this at home, uh, in the folder for the Pythagorean theorem in Schoology, under videos, there's a video on math antics that's going to give you really all the background you need. We're just going to practice a couple of uh, math problems so that uh, you see what we're going to be doing. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to round. To the nearest tenth. Tenths place. So one decimal place, basically. Um, let's get a right triangle going. Okay. And let's say um, this is uh, 1.5 centimeters, and this is 2 centimeters. Let's find this side, okay? So this is our unknown. So we have two sides, 2 centimeters, 1.5 centimeters. What is it that we don't know? Is it a leg or a hypotenuse that we don't know? Hypotenuse. Always there. So we'll call one of these A, one of these B. And it's as simple as this. Write down the Pythagorean theorem formula. Replace with actual numbers. So we're going to do uh, 2 squared plus 1.5 squared equals our unknown c squared, okay? Uh, and let's simplify that. So let's see, 2 squared is 4. How about 1.5 squared? 0.25 equals c squared. So I'm just going to simplify that to uh, 6.25 is c squared. So c squared equals 6.25. And we'll take the square root of that. And many times we're going to get one of those irrational numbers. This time we're not, though. What does c turn out to be? What's the square root of 625? Yeah, it's 2.5. Okay. So it's exactly 2.5. A lot of times we have to put the approximate equal signs, the little squiggly ones, but this is 2.5 centimeters. All right. So that's number one. Let's do another one. Um, let's say this is nine and this is eight point three. Uh, meters. We want to know this distance across. Nine meters and 8.3 meters. 
Okay, so I'd like you to try this one on your own. This one, you will get a very long decimal number. Remember to round it to the nearest tenth. Okay, so go ahead and figure out what the missing side is. Does that work so far? We got 9 squared, so that's 81. 8.3 squared for B squared, so that's 68.89. And when I added those, I got 149.89. And now I just have to square root to get my answer. So remember, we get two, two answers, a positive and a negative, right? We talked about that. Why do we only take the positive one? Yeah. Yeah, it's a distance. You can't have negative distances. So you throw out the negative answer. You just work with a positive one. So we want the square root of 149.89. Um, and that's 12.24, blah, blah, blah. And we'll just make that 12.2. So C is approximately, this time you do need the squiggly ones because it's an irrational number, 12.2 meters, okay? Um, let's do one more, and this time we're going to actually find a leg. So let's say this is 14.8 uh, centimeters, and this is 11.9 uh, centimeters. Let's find this leg. Okay. So what's our first thing we should do? Huh? Well, how, plug in what though? First we have to figure out what we need to plug in. Yeah, realize your variables. Starting with C. Always name C first. C has to be this length. C has to be that length because the longest length has to be identified as something we either know or don't know. C is something we know this time. So 11.9 could be A or B. Doesn't matter. The legs can interchange. What do you want to make it? A or B. So this is B then. We don't know B. So we start again with A squared plus B squared to C squared. And we plug in A squared. Well, we know A is 11.9 squared plus B squared. And C we know is 100, well, I'm sorry, 14.8. And let's just figure those out. 11.9 squared. I got 141.61. Plus B squared equals 14.8 squared, 0 0.04. Don't do the rounding to the end. So leave those as is. And now what do we have to do here? Yeah. So just some real basic. calculations and now we're going to end up with b squared equals 219.04 take away 141.61 and what do we get i got 77.43 is that what you get and now let's 
square root this, and we get b is pretty sure this one's going to be irrational. What would that round to? To the nearest 10. 8.8. .8. So this is going to be about 8.8. .8. centimeters. Okay. All right, so that's what we're doing today on IXL is finding missing sides of right triangles using the Pythagorean theorem. Okay.